Hey guys, how are you doing today? I think I said that I would come back and play with my inks, especially my new ones. I kind of have these just as a remind me of what colors I want to use. So, you know me, I'm never... Welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Messy Desk. I mean, Darcy's Mixed Media. And if you've been with me for a while, you know, I always have a messy desk. Alright. I don't love this mixed media paper, so I've been trying to use it up. I mean, it, it's a good price, and it still works, you know, it works fine. And I, I still have, like, lots of it, even though I've been playing with it. Got it on Amazon. I just... It's a weird color and it's I don't like the feel of it I don't know it doesn't it doesn't seem to hold up great for like a lot of mixed media but I'm gonna use it just playing with some inks and I can back those if I need to because it seems to um I don't know it's all right I mean it's not horrible I'll tell you that it's not horrible it's just of all the mixed media papers I have it's probably my least favorite and before I was just tearing these out just not caring if the thing okay I just don't care <laughs> it takes too long to care I'm gonna pull out a bunch of these so I could just make um just play with my inks and then what I usually do is cut them down into tags uh do I have any examples I don't know if I have any examples, but I like to grab any kind of um, stencil. Oh, where's my new ones? Don't mind me. I'm just here doing a video, pretending like I'm not supposed to actually be doing something. Oh, here they are. <laughs> okay, good. I've got some new... I ordered some videos from PM Artist Studio. Don't take my code. It's only one use. Okay, so she gave me some mess, some imperfectly perfect ones along with it, which is awesome. So I'm going to use this. This is some weird... What is this stuff? It kind of sticks. Oh, I think she said it was magnetic. I don't know. It doesn't stick to that. It sticks to... Sticks to I don't know. I don't know how she got it to stick. Okay. Let's move addresses and stuff out of the way. Yeah, like this one, I guess you could, <coughs> excuse me, couldn't get all the, the bits out, which, you know, and that one didn't cut, like they didn't cut perfectly, but you know what? I don't care. And then these, these ones are the ones I ordered. Hold on. Let me, let me put, um, one of Patricia's jelly plates here so you can see it. Hopefully. So these are some Celtic circles, and they're in three different sizes. I love those. I saw her use those on some. They're called Celtic Knot Mandala. And then we've got a cellular membrane, 5x7, I also ordered, which is this one which is really cool. And then my, one of my favorite ones here is the assem, as, as, let's see, Assemic Writing. This is the nine by 12 with seven columns. So PM Artist Studio, cut from 74 pound Yupo synthetic sheets. They're their go to stencil materials. You can go to PM Artist Studio. Uh, well, you can follow them there on Instagram, but they're just pmartiststudio.com. If you are ever interested, oops, <laughs> sorry, but there were more bits, or at least one more bit. And then there's this one, which is really cool. So along with my other stencils, I thought I'd play with these two with my inks. Yep, they're going to get all inky and they're going to get marked, they're going to get colored on, but I don't care. So when I go to use them on my gel plate, they'll leave some color and I'm all about that. All right, I'm going to use this as a separator. Trying to figure out. Oh, it must have been a misprint, and they just printed right on that, right? Perfect. All right, stack these back up. I got this rocky one too. So I'm gonna play with all these plus some of my cheapos from Amazon, cause that's how I roll. 
So I'm going to lay down one piece, maybe lay down, I'm putting it backwards only, well, it doesn't matter. It's going to get covered in ink. Got some spots on there, but I don't care. All right, let's just lay down some stencils and have fun with this. Um, I might be, um, 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 don't mind me. It's just a little bit too much on the end there. Yes, you can cut your stencils. It's okay. It's allowed. Mm, I think it goes that way. It might not matter. So, so I have this on my paper. I have this block that's in my way. I don't, I was using it, I was cutting something and you, you can't cut on this Tim Holtz stuff because you'll cut right into the glass. And even though it says it's cutting mat, apparently it's only a cutting mat if you're using their tools. And I'm guessing that their tools must be pretty dull. My guess. All right, where's some of my new ones? Saltwater taffy is a new one. Ooh, weathered wood is a new one. Blueprint sketch is a new one, but I'm still going to keep my wild honey is not a new one. Faded jeans is a new one. Old paper is a new one. Mustard seed. Poison. Let's get the white in here just in case. That's not a new one, but antique linen is a new one. And then I also bought more peeled paint, so I can go ahead and use. I used so much green last time, though. Oops, sorry about that. Squeak, squeak. That's not. Oh, that's why I can't find it. I'm like, where's the colors I didn't use last time? They would be in a different thing because you didn't put them away, lady. Oh, what I put pumice is up there. Do I want the pumice? I don't know. Uh, brush pewter. Oh, maybe throw in some bright green. Some espresso. I don't think I need any rusty hinge. Mm. Do I want abandoned coral? I might. And my, oh my goodness, what is up with my, this is my distress stained mica and it has leaked all down in underneath the plastic. That's just a mess waiting to... Oh, and you know what? I have some Mr. Hueys. I never really, I'm um, afraid of the red one, but I've never really tried them. But Pam, Pam, Patricia, and Mariah rave about them. Love this color, but it is, <coughs> it's, um, it's incredible ink, all right. I might throw a little bit in there, though. That's, that's what's on this one. Maybe a little orange. Spice marmalade, we'll throw that in there too. Okay. So the way I do this is I, I come on camera unprepared. I know I saw a water bottle that spilled. There we go. They both oh I didn't fill them. What? I thought uh, Alright, yep, I come unprepared. There's some milk lavender. So that I have to pause. Okay, this is not a neat and precise method, but it is how I get this kind of stuff um just um i had to mic it in this one but like this here and this and that and that and also i did a little bit of it in this one too so like especially on the back side here and on some of the pages in there. So if, if you guys saw me make my flag book, I finally did add my pictures. So it's really cute. This is cool how it can like flip like this too. This is kind of cool. So yeah, there are some multiples like of the same one, but there's one on every page. So I thought it came out kind of cute. My husband just came home, so I had to say hi. Otherwise he feels neglected, you know. Now he has to go be like, you ready for work? Because he just got home from work and my, my older son will now go to work. I'm going to spray this with water. Try to keep these pretty flat. The other side of that, it, it may go through. I'm okay with that. Oh, let's see what old paper does. So I'm just going to spray a few colors. That one was old paper. kind of like that. It's like a lighter version of... Whoops, and this is a bluer version of the chip sapphire. And this is like a lighter version. The green was like a lighter version of the peeled paint, I guess. Um, do I want to put some saltwater taffy on there too? Are we going there? Are we going crazy? 
So the saltwater taffy is almost like a light version of the, let's put a little bit of abandoned coral on there just to see. Yeah, it's just a little the, lighter than the uh, abandoned coral. Now I'm going to spray water again. It doesn't matter which spray bottle you use. I'm just grabbing whichever one. And then I'm going to take another one and put it on top and smoosh it. And I'm not worried about what I get. What I'm going to get is just an interesting background. It's not going to be anything perfect. It's just going to be something kind of fun so that I can cut down into tags. So that's what that one looks like. It's a little watery. It's okay. Find a place to dry it. Oh, I found the pile of the ones that were already done. So... Now what I can do is just go ahead and put some of these upside down on another piece to get some of that ink off. And I'm gonna get it. Oh, I forgot that I was gonna do that. In order to keep my hands from getting too, too messy, I try to remember to do this, but I forgot. So that red's gonna be there for a few days. But, um. It's just Workman's Friend, or there's also um, liquid, is it called liquid glue? What is it called? Um, there's some kind, uh, uh, Augustinelli. Gail had it. She showed it. Glue, liquid gloves? Is that what it's called? I think it's called liquid gloves, the other one. And um, I do find when I use this, my hands are not quite as dirty after I wash them. So this kind of puts a barrier between my skin and the ink and it helps some. It's not as good as using actual gloves, but it does help some. Let's see. Oh, let's not get ink all over any finished products, projects, not products, just projects. They're not products unless I put them in the store and I don't put everything in the store. All right. And then I'm going to also do this just to get some of that off of there dry it out a little bit and I know it doesn't look like much but you know this as a tag with the focal point on it is actually kind of interesting so let me get some more of this wet off here and then this is a start to something I suppose okay and then I just keep doing that I just <coughs> layer up some stencils have fun with it spray the water spray the um all the things. Let's see. What do I, I just had a couple round ones. These I got. These are cheapos that I got on um, Amazon that I made some texture paste out of. It doesn't have all its parts cut out either. See, even the other places don't always have everything cut out. But I was thinking about cutting. Did you know it's okay? Once you buy your stencils, they're yours and you can do what you want with them. So if you want to cut them, you totally can. To make them what you want. I have done it with the Mandela, 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 I don't know, whatever. I, you get nervous after you see like a comment on somebody else's page about this is how it's supposed to be spelled and this is how it's supposed to be pronounced and, and I'm just like... <laughs> Or you could just watch this for the enjoyment of of watching it. So I'm actually going to cut this out. Because it's round and I just don't like when round things have square edges, I guess. And it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be perfectly. I'm not going to cut it the same way on each one perfectly. The same exact. In fact, you can... I probably won't say anything interesting for 30 seconds. So if you want to like fast forward 30 seconds, you can. But I just am here to tell you, you can totally cut your stencils if you want to. Who gave me permission to do this? Patricia of PM Artist Studio. She cuts hers up all the time. Of course, she has like her own factory in her house. Pretty much. And also, you know, when Mariah gives her some of the the bad cut ones, she can not feel guilty about it because it's not ones that they necessarily 
sell in their store. Although she probably could at discounted prices and people would still buy them. And then maybe even feel less guilty about cutting them. Right? Like this one was cheap, so it's not, you know, it was like, you know, get 24 for $6 or $8 or something, something ridiculous. I could save that. I'm not going to. So I'm going to put that one on there. I'm going to put this one on here. And then where's my, my other round ones? And then we can go ahead and put that one on there. I might layer them up a little bit. We'll see. Um, like that, and then we'll just have some good interest. Maybe I'll cut up another one of these. Spray in the water. I spray the water just otherwise you're gonna, it's just gonna sit on there. You know what I mean? Like, um, ooh, weather wood, let's try that. It's just gonna look like spray, and I don't want it to look like, see, it already tries to look like spray. Antique linen. Hmm, this would be an interesting combo. Should we just do those two colors? Spray it again, Sam. Spray it again, Sam. Get it? Instead of play it again, Sam, spray it again, Sam. Unless you're young, then you don't get it at all. So then I go ahead and put this paper down. And that makes interesting background for tag right there even. Or page. Could use this as pockets, could make an end, could do lots of things with that. It's decorated paper now. You don't have a printer, you don't have an excuse. You don't even have to use these, these spray inks. You can use some watercolor that's watered down and put into a, um, put into one of, you know, reuse a one that you have from something else maybe, or, um, or whatever. And then you have a decorated page. Just fun, fun, fun. These aren't too expensive, though, the um, Distress Sprays. You just have to remember that they are uh, reactive to water. So if I do another layer, it's going to affect what's under there. And it's going to affect, you know, what, what gets, any, any underneath parts that get wet are going to get affected. That's all. But even watercolor is water reactive. That's going to react, too. Sorry, I'm cutting this. I wasn't... God, I should just pause so you don't have to watch this again, but since I was being talkative. So, like, um, so you could also use watercolor. So, get yourself some cheap watercolors and, you know, just kind of splatter it all over with some extra water and stuff. Oh, you'll see a technique that I'm going to have fun playing with, which probably works best with the golden. I should try it with some regular ones, too. Um, the golden watercolors, which is the Q Q O R course. But I, I'll try it with some cheaper ones, too, just to be sure. Now, let me find one of my other ones that has stuff on it. And just pick up some more off of here. See? Look at that. Picked all that up still. Then I'll go ahead and take these off. Throw them on there. Just right upside down. And when I gel the plate, some of these inks are going to come off, and I'm going to love what happens. Because I like to do that. So, that, I think that came out cool. So, I let that dry. And I will show you real quick what happens when you cut them up, how it changes it. That's a little wet down there, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, we'll just put this upside down here. And get some of the color that's there off of, and then just have that be dry. All right, so like, let's see. I haven't cut these down yet either, but um, I'll cut this the size that I want it to be at a word or whatever, and it just makes a nice background for um, your your pictures and your birds and whatnot. Like these aren't finished yet, but they still look really cute with the the different backgrounds. Yeah, see, I did a lot of green the other day, so I'm like. Kind of stay. I'll cut this one down smaller. I just kind of stuck them in the middle. That one I'll also cut down smaller. That might end up being about that size. Also, that one I'll just turn into a tag or a journal card. Um, that one I'll cut down too. This one I'll probably just round the edges and ink it. 
and even that one you know just the flower with that in the background it's just kind of a fun a fun look that one I'm gonna be cutting down it'll be a, sh a shorter tag so the tree is not just like stopping midway and then what I also like is if I do like the color of the flower in the background with some green it can almost look like you know there's maybe in blurred out other flowers behind it that one's not a good example of it but here this one's probably a little better example you can like imagine that there might be other flowers the same color similar colors behind that one they're just blurred out so and then also it's great for using your clear stickers um that might end up being a pocket i don't know it goes that the flower technically goes that way but um, yeah, like a, a pink rose with that background that I like. There's another one with a sticker. A little tulip. Another bird. And then I, these are other ones that I've made using this similar process. So when you cut them down, sometimes you end up with a lot of ink. And sometimes you don't have a lot. But it still looks really cool. And it's fun to play with. And these I could use as belly band or cut them down to use in, um, like I could cut this one down like, this far and I could use it in a cluster so these are just fun fun to use oh didn't know that flower was in there but see how pretty that would look these colors would pop right against that green the green doesn't pop but that's okay it's not about the green what in the world have you been in my way this whole time but it looks kind of cool on here too and then these so this is you know it might not look like much but when you cut it down it's fun 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 see I think I used a lot more water and I don't know what I did last time I made a mess that's what I did but that's what I'm here for that's what mixed media is, is make a mess see what happens let's make some more oh uh, let's grab one of these that's round so let's grab some more of these oops move that out of the way Maybe grab another one that's straight on the side, or just do this. Just all the colors. Um, does that make anybody else want to sing the song too, or am I the only one? I don't know the words. <laughs> I only know the tunes. And enough words to make me think of the tunes. Yeah, I'm spraying it really quite a bit. I can do that. If I want to. Do we do it? The villainous potion? What should we do it with? Okay. Maybe some antique linen. Kind of to dull it down a little bit so it's not quite so in your face purple maybe. Maybe. What else? Should go bright or light or or crazy it's a uh, abandoned coral because we can if we want to oh there's not much right here let's go back to our purple a little bit more purple in there whoops that's a lot and then I'm gonna spray it again more water this is why I can sometimes get two pages out of the uh, that doesn't matter Actually, it's probably didn't even matter if you use the front or the back. Let's try using the back this time. This is the front of the mixed media paper on the top. So we're going to see what happens when we do it on the back. It gets a little more smushy. And that's all right. Because this will make an interesting background just the same. All right, where? <laughs> Lost places to dry things. And let's go on this one more time. We'll take our very colorful, everything's been on this one paper. Hmm, maybe I like the back side of the paper better. I don't know. I think that's also the back side of the paper. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of fun. Do I have any more already ripped out? Nope. Let me grab some more. So now I'll use the front side of the paper. Do I worry if it's on there straight? No, no, I do not. I just have fun. It's just have fun with it. That's that's what you want to do. 
See? And that might just be a first layer. I might add more stuff to that. Or it's still, you could ink it with some of the dry ink so it's not quite so white in the background. Uh, it'll be fun. You want to see how I do that? Okay, I'll show you how I can do that. Let me just get some more of this ink off of there, man. I'm trying to get some of the ink dried up. And I'll just throw these back on top of this. It gets underneath, that's okay. It still shows a little bit of something going on under there. How fun are these? These are so fun. I think they're fun. Let me find my, I see a cord. Let me follow this cord to the end. My son does not like me to keep it plugged in and that which I understand. He's 21. He's, he worries. But sometimes it does just turn on. Like if it, if the ground moves and this moves, it doesn't take much for something to hit that button. I wish that there was a safety on these. Just so I could keep it plugged in if no other reason. So I'll let this one, this one will take a while to dry so I'm not gonna probably try to dry that but let's dry this one up and because you might because you might be thinking um you know you might just be thinking what is she gonna do there's not much on there well i'll show you what you can do that's fine bye patricia <laughs> I'm, I'm teasing patricia because she's like as soon as that the air the dryer goes on she changes she stops watching and goes to something else which is fine i know some people don't like it or you can just fast forward like 30 to 60 seconds and miss the most interesting bits because i keep talking i could pause though the best thing would be for me to pause it's actually that's actually pretty cool i i was thinking some of this was kind of like blank looking but i don't know it's kind of kind of cool honestly <laughs> let me try to find some let me cut down some parts that don't have as much on them maybe all right ah, i'm getting caught on my cords my cords my cords let's just go ahead and do three inches is it the fox my husband stomps man I kind of like that flower and want that to be on. It's kind of a flowery looking thing. So, so what would I do with this? I might take some distress ink, a random color, salvage patina is what I grabbed. I have a blue. There's going to be other colors. This is light blue though, so it won't be too bad. And you could just go over the whole thing. It may change your color a little bit, but you're not, I was going to say, you're not going too heavy with it, you know, unless you do, like I just did. If you come from the edge, it helps. You can have your edges be darker. And then you can take your water. Uh, the nice thing about the Tim Holtz one is if you just spray it a little bit, it sprays out bigger blobs, much bigger blobs. Where? This is, a, this is just... It's clean. It's not got boogers on it. I'm, just, I'm gonna let it do a, a thing for another few seconds, and then I'm gonna take. So now you could see that modeled effect because I used the distress ink, which is, you know, reactive with water, and also you've got some interest back there, and you've got it's not all white. You can turn this into a tag or a journal card it's kind of fat i'd probably make it a journal card of course it's not totally dry so this may <laughs> or a pocket or whatever and it doesn't even you can't even tell what's up and what's down so you can put it however you want and i just had a box of um, let's see what have i got here Owls? Is that a little too bright for an owl or is it kind of nighttime and maybe we could put an owl on there? He's too small. He's kind of 
But it does make an interesting background, doesn't it? Let's, who else do we have in here? Can even put it on its side. And have them be like that. Or maybe owls won't work. I don't know. What else could work? Flowers could work. Most, of the, well, most anything could work. I would think. I think these are... The label's not quite the right color. I often like cut out the words. Though. I don't have everything sorted yet, but I have some things sorted into these boxes. Some things. Not everything. I need something little. So these are like my printed birds. And then I have one with cutout birds. I mean, yeah, cut out of book birds. And then I don't know what if I have another bird one besides those or not. I don't know. It might take you a while to find the perfect thing for this. I don't know. It does add some color to the outside of like a <clears throat> a, a neutrally one. Oh, he's kind of fun on there. And you just you have the the outside here, which you know if it was more colors on him it would be perfect. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I think it might be time for me to end my video. <laughs> Is that what about you guys? Ooh, like this one. We've got the blue. And then we've got that color there. So that one works nicely. This little bird one. These are antique papery, I believe. Um, yeah, and we've got that color there, there, and there. It doesn't make a triangle. It makes a line, but... And then the blue is similar to that blue. That's kind of fun. Hmm, I might make that. We'll see. Unless there's something better. Ooh, there's purple on these. What do we think about the chicks? Cheap, 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 cheap. Anyway, we're even just like a coffee cup. Lots of things could look good on there. I mean, apparently lots of things don't look good on there as well, but lots of things can definitely look good on there. All right, I like my duck. Not my duck. Ooh, let's try this parrot. I think this is one of Louisa's parrots. Oh, this one's from Dreams Time. This blue one. I like that too, except I don't want to cut off his tail. If I don't have to. What is this? Pink piece of paper. Why is it in here? Oh, I was probably trying to flatten out these birds on the bottom because they were, I think these are Louise's. I think that they were, um, I, I cut them and then I didn't put them in anywhere right away. So those need to be on bigger journal tags. So, so yeah, those are my printed ones. But yeah, so that was my, my point, whole point was you can take it from this to this, but this isn't bad either. You could still do something on that. Let me just put something on there because see and then you put a little tag down there I mean a little label or something there or a word and it's cool looking or you can even move him over a little bit more so more of the design shows you know something like that he's fun I know I need to do a, a digital kit or some at least some ephemera or something with that also uh, let's see. Let's take one of, oh, this one's, I'm going to pause you while I dry this real quick. All right. So we like sprayed it in ink three times and we ended up with one, two, three. So I'll show them to you so you can see them. Not perfect, but fun, colorful backgrounds. So there's a second. So four, five, six, seven. And then that was like a combination. So eight, eight pages of interest. Probably more, well, let's see. There's some started too. And you want to treat this like a master board and just kind of do it backwards and see what we get. Do a couple of them at least upside down. Like maybe like these, these fold, fold ones here. 
I don't know which is which. I think that's a full one and this one. So let's play with these three. We'll put them upside down and see what we come up with. Start by cutting this off. So you could treat this like a master board. A master board is basically any large piece that you decorate all at once that you then cut down just two and three quarters to make tags, journal journal cards, tags, pockets, etc. I'm gonna make this one four inches. And I'm gonna turn this one. So now this one is it's about four and a half inches. So we'll do four and a half by two and a half, do some smaller tags. Two and a half. And what I say it was for two and a quarter. I'll do this one two and a quarter. I just turned it so that I knew it was four and a half that one way. So it was a little bit smaller. I do one of these as a tall tag. So we'll do like five and a half inches. So I too lazy to open that. I just put my finger at the three and move it up. So I have a bigger journal card, squarish journal card. Do this one at about four and a half. Should do it. Should pretty much be in half, right? Because I think it's nine inches. Yep. So, should I show them each one at a time? So, there we go. There's a tag. There's a tag. There's a tag. There's a tag. There's a journal card. Another tag. So, it's kind of fun to like not look too and see what you end up with and you get some fun stuff. You want to do another one? Do you want to do another one? Dude, where did I put them? Dude, isn't this where I put them? No? I had them upside down. That's probably what happened, and now they're invisible. Was this the three I picked? No, I had like the... Oh, no. oh they're up here. See, they did. They became invisible because I had them upside down. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. So, that's this one. Now I'm going to forget what it looks like. Let's erase my mind so I don't try to do anything special with it. This one has like uh, more white in between. Also, that was not straight. Let's get it straight, people. Looks like I cut it with my scissors that was so bad. Let's start with two and three quarters. It's a nice, good size tag. And three and a half, because why not? Which gives this one as uh, about five. So, let's do five by two and a half. Two and a half. Make some smaller tags. And I'm going to turn this one again and do it at two and a half because I don't know how tall it is. But it's, it looks shorter than it was tall. So they'll be, yeah, they are about an inch shorter. And this was my biggest one. So this one I want to be at least five inches tall, which will give me a shorter one and a taller one. And this one I'll do four and a half inches tall, which will give me two about the same height. There's, and I'm too lazy to actually I think that's about half an inch so oh that's cool these are awesome that one but once you put a focal point like in the middle here you will hardly even know that there's a blank space in the middle it'll just be interest or if you wanted to you could cut this down and use this as a tag here and use this as like a piece on a um but see, it still gives interest. I'm going to save that one out because I want some that are um, a little bit more, what's the word I want? Um, inked, I guess, is the word, right? Okay, I'm not even going to look at this one first. That means you don't get to look at it first either. <laughs> I don't know. Which one is this one? Do you know? I don't know. Let's do three and a half first this time. I don't know, this is just usually how I do it. I do like a three and a half and a two and a half, which is six inches, which I guess gives me a three. This gave me a little feet off, a little over five inches. So, so they're a little over five inches. Let's go ahead and do it at two and three quarters then. Two and three quarters. I mean, I could make them all the same size, and then I'll leave this one bigger as a journal card, maybe. Do this one in half, which should be four and a half inches, which is slam. 
have to just love that slamming sound every time. Sorry. Oh, whoops. Turned those upside down too fast, didn't I? All right. Now we're done. So, uh, this one I'm actually going to cut off that slam white part. Because <laughs> you can. There's no rules. So, we have that. Could be a pocket. Or a corner tuck. That could be a tag. That one could be a fun tag. That one could be a fun tag. I'm going to get that one more ink, too. And that one and that one and that one so those are some fun backgrounds and then i'm going to take these two smaller ones and we're going to do a couple different things um i think <laughs> if i can wrap my hands or my arm my, if i could wrap my brain it's my brain i'm trying to wrap i was looking for like um yeah, let's try this one a pair so stamps let's not forget about our stamps I haven't used this stamp before though so I'm not sure how it's gonna come out but I'm using I got myself a big red fern when the inks were on sale at the place where I buy them and the place some people love and some people hate why do some people hate it because <sighs> that's just the way our world is these days. you got to find a reason to hate, apparently. But I'm not going to hate on any of those people. I'm going to love those people and love the other people and love all the people. Because God didn't tell me to judge people. He told me to love people. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I'd probably cut that top part off. Or, I don't have to cut that top part off, though. Let's let's make it work. What would you do to this? Um, if you don't love, love, love pink. Like, I don't love, love, love pink. Oh, and also, this clatter, clatter, clatter. This is just the antique linen, which gives you a nice creamy off white where you don't want white white and you don't want to take away and also takes away the pink pink too so that's kind of cool and let's see fabulous I don't know is a pair throw kindness around like confetti hey can I cover a pair up with that like can I just like start up here and then just like cover part of the pair is that allowed Although if I make it a tag, I need to, it doesn't really make sense on there, but anyway, I never, I, I never just use my things. I'm just really bad about using my moment, you, moment, memory, smile, just, just, I got other words. I just want to fill up that, um, do I dream? No, not dream. Well, you know, see this one said wonderful day. I cut off day and just have wonderful. And we're just going to have a wonderful pair. That's just, I'll use the same color and everything. It's just going to be a pair that's wonderful. And it's mostly just so I can bring the green up to the top. <laughs> there we go. Wonderful. Now... I can turn this into a tag. Oh, I'm probably going to cut off the W. <laughs> I don't have to cut off the W. I'm going to cut off some of the W. It's going to be okay. Next time that you want to do something like that, you might want to, um, oh, I don't know, cut your tag and then write your, do your word. <laughs> and I didn't center it because, you know, I don't like to center things. It's... It's just the way I am. So you could use your stamps to like just put an image on there and make it pretty. Or you could use your stamps to make it grungy. Let's see. This is purple. It's got a little bit of the coral. What have we got in here? I should have some distressed coral. Abandoned coral. Whatever. So I'm going to add some of these things. This is one of my, I use it a lot for mixed media. I'm going to use one of those. Uh, i got a lot of weight down here. So I'm going to put a little bit down in that corner. 
and then I'm going to put a little bit up in this corner and I'm really bad at remembering to get the middle so I'm just gonna do a little bit in the middle just to do that and what else and then we have that villainous potion which I do not think I have villainous potion but I do have dusty conquered which should be fairly close and then I'm just gonna where I didn't just do the circles just do a little bit of the grid like that see so now we've added some texture and whatnot do we not like the white is the white too much that's okay that's the whole reason I have antique linen and I used distress ink on everything so guess what would happen it would affect every layer if I were to put water on this I still really want to See, I did it, squeezed it just a little bit. I get bigger, bigger um, things. So essentially my lines could get blurry. My circles could get messed up, but that's okay. Cause it's a background. We're not looking for perfection. I don't know where my paper towels are. So you're getting to see some of my old grungy paper towels. Do I wanna do a little bit more? I kind of want to just do, all right, so I'm going to take my picket fence and I'm going to take a little paintbrush and dip it in my picket fence. Now I'm not going to get white because it's going to soak up some of the other color, but it's going to give me more modeled effect and give me a little control. You could do this with any of your distressing. Ah, but try not to splatter them back on yourselves like I just did. So now that will just give me more modeled effect. It's not going to be white. It's just going to be a lighter version of what's there probably. So then I could put a focal point on that. So you could use your stamps to make more background. You could make your stamps to make your focal point. Um, more inks to take away the white and just have fun. I mean, that's what I mean of it is to have fun, make some backgrounds. Mix it up, um, you know, I mean, I like, I actually would use this as a page or a large pocket in a journal. I really like that one. Um, when I use the stencils that have the big lines, eh, I wouldn't use it as a definitely a page, but this I might use as a pocket right there. Um, and this would make a nice pocket going across like this. See if I were gonna, and then I still like this kind of a background too. It's, it's messy, grungy, fun, but definitely would make some fun tags. That needs more on it. And these, you know, now if I use them on my gel plate, they're gonna leave some of this color in my paint, probably, and I'm okay with that. Totally okay with that. And then there's that one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you will have fun with some of your sprays, inks, dyes, water, watercolors, water down some acrylic paint if you have to. <laughs> Whatever, just throw it in, in between, throw it on your paper with your stencils and have fun. I hope you all have a delightful day. Love you.